Hello fanciers. Welcome back to the Game Dog Caribbean channel. The content you experience here is fictional and for entertainment purposes only, something like a Harry Potter book, or the story of the Avatar, the last airbender and content of that nature. Please like, comment and share this video and click on the bell icon to be notified whenever new content is posted to this channel. For this episode we will recount the MM hunting trials that took place in the fall of 1922. For this event, HHK and the nation's Tyson two-time winner GIS, and BWK's Black Crocodile aka Boy Boy two-time winner were coming out to compete for their championship title. Two-time winner BIS Yami Yami was also slated for this hunting tournament, but she didn't make it to the trail that day, for reasons unknown at the time of reporting. The card was originally set for 19 shows but due to various mishaps only 16 competitors made it to the trail. These hawk hunts were an effort to place a control on the escalating wild hawk population in the area at that time. The farmers and hawk hunters had a very good working relationship and it culminated in events such as the one we will report on today. Show number 1. PTK's Django vs DVK and De Cruz Money, set at 47 pounds. Referee, PWK. This was the first time these clubs were partnering on a hunt and they were using some prospects to get the job done. PTK and the nation's Django was a direct son of WSEK's Me One One Time winner and grandson of champion Red Crow, while DVK and De Cruz Money was line bred on DVK's Mama, the last living direct daughter of BWK's Tremor Two Time winner. At the scale, PTK's Django, 46 pounds, 6 ounces. DVK and De Cruz Money, 46 pounds, 9 ounces. Both hunters were within the contracted weight limit and made their way to the hunting trails. From the release, Django met his hawk on the other side of the trail hitting the wild boar in the back end and proceeded to shake viciously. Money on the other hand started out on the defense and hitting the mat on occasion as his hawk was very strong. Money regained his footing, and the tussle became even between the catch dogs and their wild boar, but eventually Django again started pulling ahead on the trail. A turn was called on Money, handles were made thereafter and Money completed a convincing scratch. The exchange continued but by this time Money was looking like the stronger catch dog and beating his hog to the better holds. Another handle was made, Django completed his scratch and the hunt continued. Money on the other side of the trail was comfortably out hunting Django until another handle was made with Money to scratch. Money completed another convincing scratch and continued to increase the lead on this hunt. At the next handle Django stood the line. Money on the other hand went across, ramming his hog into the side of the trail to end the hunt. Winner, DVK and De Cruz Money one time winner in 57 minutes. Show number 2. JK and De Cruz Demon vs 7PK Sicko one time winner, set at 46 pounds. Referee. PWK. For this hunt 7PK was bringing back out their one-time winner Sicko against a direct son of BWK's big meat called Demon. JK was the newest club to join to the crew and this was set to be his debut hunt with the Demon Dog after surrendering the deposit to SCK at a previous event. At the scale, JK and De Cruz Demon, 44 pounds, 15 ounces. 7PK Sicko, 45 pounds, 14 ounces. Both camps met the weight requirement and the hunt was on. From the release, both dogs met their hog in the middle with Demon on the head and Sicko hitting his hog in the throat and chest. Sicko was looking like the stronger hunter, putting his hog to the mat early out and continuing in this manner along the hunt. Demon on the other hand was defending his hog's vicious attack on his front end area from the muzzle and head. Sicko continued to hit his hog in the throat and chest until a turn was called on his wild boar and acknowledged. Demon on the other hand was having a tough time with his hog on the trail and hitting the mat more often. A turn was called on Demon and acknowledged by the event manager. Out of holds were achieved with Demon to scratch. Demon completed his scratch and the hunt continued. Sicko on the other side of the trail was heating up and his hawk managed to keep him out from the head once again but this was not for long. 
The hunters were able to complete another few scratches each before Demon stood the line at the 51 minute mark. Sicko ended the hunt ramming his hawk into the side of the trail. Winner, 7PK Sicko, 2 time winner in 51 minutes and 41 seconds. Show number 3. BWK's Black Crocodile aka Boy Boy 2 time winner versus SCK's Trump 1 time winner, set at 45 pounds. Referee, PWK. For this contest the BWK team were bringing back out the two time winner Boy Boy after he was sitting for more than one year since his last hunt, not being able to get any hookups. Boy Boy was a product of the first wave of BWK's new blood and had a devastating record on his hunt thus far. SCK on the other hand was bringing back out their one time winner Trump man that out hunted the great MK, Trump was smart and also dangerous catch dog putting away his hogs in short order during schooling and on the hunt. At the scale, BWK's boy boy, 44 pounds, 10 ounces. SCK's Trump, 44 pounds, 15 ounces. Both athletes met the contracted weight and proceeded to the wild boar arena. From the release, both dogs met their hog in the middle with Trump hitting his boar in the shoulder and putting him to the mat straight away for a brief moment. Boy Boy on the other side of the trail is floored by his hog but he immediately regains his footing and hits his hog in the chest in response. Trump begins backing up as his hog is showing good strength and ability while attacking him in the chest area. Boy Boy on the other hand is shooting past his hog's defensive head holds and hitting the hog in the chest repeatedly. While trying to keep his hog out from the head, Trump begins protesting as a result of the boar's effective chest holds. Boy Boy on the other side of the trail begins heating up and his hog manages to get him to the mat while he recovers but does not make the best use of the opportunity. Trump on the other hand is still protesting as his hog continues to work him in the chest and shoulder area. At this point on the hunt Trump's chest guard was broken and he was fading very quickly as he protested. The SCK team asked for a scratch to continue but their Trump dog stood the line on all fours at the 29 minute mark. Winner, BWK's champion Black Crocodile aka Boy Boy 3 time winner in 29 minutes and 55 seconds. Show number 4. FTK's Draco vs HSK's 47, set at 39.5 pounds. Referee, HGK. The FTK club was a young and upcoming club trying to make some moves on the hunting circuit. For this event they were bringing their pointy fire ocean bred male to compete for the ribbon. HSK on the other hand was bringing a similarly bred pointy ocean male to the hunt. At the scale, FTK's Draco, 39 pounds, 8 ounces. HSK's 47, 39 pounds, 8 ounces. Both hunters made the contract wait and the hunt was on. From the release, both dogs met their hog in the middle with Draco riding his hog's head and 47 shooting for the hog's chest and shoulder area. Draco continued trying to subdue his hog while 47 was trying to develop an offense. The hog dogs began swapping holds with their wild boar until they both got heated. As they tried to have their way with the boars the catch dogs got heated but continued to pursue the hogs at a slower pace. Draco was the first to recover and proceeded to hit his hog up all about the body. 47 on the other hand was still in a bad spot. Handles were achieved after the out of hold count was completed with 47 to scratch. 47 went across convincingly and the hunt proceeded. Draco on the other side of the trail was looking like the stronger hunter. Another handle was made and Draco went across to meet his boar on the trail, at this point 47 was still fading quickly despite recovering from the initial pursuit. Draco continued to hit some very crucial spots and his wild boar began to protest. Handles were achieved and 47 stood the line at just over the hour mark. Draco on the other side of the trail finished the hunt ramming his hog into the side of the trail. Winner, FTK's Draco, one time winner in 1 hour and 11 minutes. Show number 5. MK's crazy one time winner versus HHK and the nation's Tyson two time winner GIS, set at 36 pounds and 11 ounces. Referee, HGK. 
The last time these clubs met up on the trail the HHK team stopped the great MK's champion John John three-time winner GIS from capturing his fourth title ribbon. This time the tables were turned and the great MK was on a mission to stop the two-time winner GIS Tyson from achieving the championship title using his very game one-time winner Crazy which they acquired from the FNSK hunting club. The great MK was coming off of two straight W's, setting a record with their intense dog which caught two hawks in the space of two months. HHK on the other hand had since joined the nation combine and was receiving the best of their program in preparation for the championship hunt. Tyson was a very game one himself with good ability and the HHK club collected the deposit on his last contract with their crew. At the scale, MK's crazy, 36 pounds, 6 ounces. HHK and the nation's Tyson, 36 pounds, 11 ounces. Both hunters met the contracted weight and made their way to the trail. From the release, both dogs met their hog in the middle, moving at a very fast pace. Tyson started off driving his hog backwards with a brute force while Crazy was on his hog's head showing good defense. Tyson continued to hit his hog in some very effective spots as Crazy remained on the defense trying to ride his hog out and putting the boar to the mat briefly on occasion. As the hunt progressed the catch dogs were heating up but Tyson was clearly the stronger animal on the trail, dominating his hog and hitting any spot left open. Crazy on the other side of the trail continued to lose steam and the great MK threw in the towel at about the 58 minute mark. Crazy completed a very game courtesy scratch on his nose and chest, the likes of which most had only read about in the magazines of the time. Winner, HHK and the nation's champion Tyson three-time winner GIS in 58 minutes. Champion Tyson's achievement awarded his dam, the mothership one-time winner, her second ROM point. Show number 6. ESK's Black Steel vs PTK and the nation's Moses one-time winner, set at 29.5 pounds. Referee, PWK. This contest was the last of the males competing for this event. The PTK club was bringing back out the agile one-time winner Moses that outhunted the great MK at an earlier event. The ESK team on the other hand was using a prospect imported from their hunting partners in a nearby territory which they felt could get the job done. At the scale, ESK's black steel, 29 pounds, 5 ounces. PTK and the nation's Moses, 29 pounds, 8 ounces. The contract weight was met and the hunt was on. From the release, both dogs met their hog hard in the middle. Steel went straight to the hog's leg and proceeded to shake viciously giving all present the impression that the leg guard was broken. Moses on the other hand was having a more difficult start but soon gained his footing and began hitting his hog in the throat and chest. A turn was called on Steel early out which was acknowledged by the event coordinator but the hunt proceeded looking very even between catch dogs. Moses began heating up on the trail but Steel was maintaining the pressure and doing a number on his hog's legs and hooves. The out of hold was completed with PTK to scratch. Moses made a very convincing scratch but began falling behind on the trail. Black Steel on the other hand was showing clear dominance until his hog began to protest. The PTK club being far behind decided to throw in the towel at about the 45 minute mark. Winner, ESK's Black Steel, one time winner in 45 minutes. Show number 7. WGK's Legacy vs DIK and the Nation's Rosie, aka, KK, set at 34 pounds. Referee, PWK. For this hunt, hawk hunters and spectators alike were expecting a treat since it was the return of the formidable WGK club to the hunting trails after a few years in the lab working on the champion junior stuff. WGK was the home of champion Maestro Junior and for this hunt they were using a direct daughter of champion Junior himself to get the job done. The DIK team on the other hand was a newly formed hunting team on the scene, branching off from their partners at the DWK club. DIK and the nation was using a direct daughter of Champion Evil 1 three-time winner GIS. The Champion Evil 1 dogs were now popping up more frequently on the hunting circuit with varying success. At the scale, 
WG Case Legacy, 34 pounds, 6 ounces. DIK and the Nation's KK, 33 pounds, 7 ounces. The contract weight was breached by WGK but they were eager to get this hunt on the way. From the release, Rosie met her hawk on the other side of the trail while Legacy was slow to pick up the scent of her boar. The exchange ensued with Rosie playing a good head game with her hawk while Legacy was shooting for the chest and shoulders. The hunters were looking about even at this point, hitting their hawks in some critical spots in the front end and back end and defending from the wild boar's attacks as necessary. A turn was eventually called on Legacy in the heat of the hunt but both hunters continued trying to subdue their hog. A handle was achieved at the 46 minute mark with Legacy to scratch. Legacy stood the line on all fours leaving Rosie to end the hunt in grand style. Winner, D.I.K. and the Nation's Rosie, aka, KK in 46 minutes and 21 seconds. Show number 8. RCK's Venom vs DIK slash WSEK and the Nation's Drugs Gyal aka Weed Whacker, set at 32 pounds. Referee, PWK. The last time these clubs partnered on a hunt, the RCK team outhunted WSEK Scar with their bomb dog at the King of Country event the previous year. At some point in the keep the WSEK hunter broke down and they decided to partner with the DIK team to use their female that received the deposit from LGK on the same event. The replacement was a one-time winner that outhunted the great MK some time previously. From the release, the weed whacker hit her hawk into the side of the trail and began working the boar's front end, while Venom was on the other side of the trail defending from her hawk's vicious attack and protesting slightly in the process. Venom eventually gets control of the boar for a brief moment putting the hawk to the mat in the back end. The weed whacker on the other hand continues to exchange convincingly with her hawk. Weed whacker continued to dominate on the hunt and a call was turned and acknowledged on the RCK catch dog. Both hunters were tracking at a very fast pace but bushwhacker was clearly the stronger and faster animal. The RCK's Venom eventually began attempting to exit the trail and snapping in the process. Handles were achieved with Venom to scratch but their hunter stood the line leaving Bushwhacker to end the hunt at the 16 minute mark. Winner, DIK slash WSEK and the nation's drugs Gyal aka Weed Whacker, two time winner in 16 minutes. MM, the settlement of all confrontation. BIS Mail. BWK's champion Black Crocodile aka Boy Boy 3 time winner BIS. BIS female, DIK and the nation's drugs Gyal aka Weed Whacker 2 time winner BIS. GIS male, MK's crazy 1 time winner, 1 time game loser GIS. Best conditioned male, ESK's Black Steel 1 time winner BCD. Best conditioned female, DIK and the nation's Rosie, aka, KK one time winner BCD. Quickest put away, DIK and the nation's drugs Gyal aka Weed Whacker two time winner BISQPA. Thanks to the hunting clubs for providing inspiration for these fictional accounts. Thank you for watching and continue to tune in to the Game Dog Caribbean channel. Until next time, the best place to begin is square one, and remember, good dogs are where you find them. Be sure to comment like and share this video and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever we post new content.